It's easy to see why the Maldives has been so popular with tourists for more than 20 years. Selling luxury holidays is the backbone of the economy here. Top end of resort in the Maldives. But Mohammed Nazir says it takes more than just perfect weather to attract investment. So the tourism sector is one of the most important uh, in income to our country. So political stability is very, very important. Tourists will be always comfortable to come to a place where there is a, uh, political stability and national security. All over the world, the Maldives is known for its idyllic white sandy beaches like this and private hideaways. But scratch below the surface and you can uncover a very different reality. And this, locals say, is the real Maldives. The fish industry keeps tens of thousands of families across the archipelago afloat. But Ali Ahmed, the man in charge of getting this yellowfin tuna to outlets around the world, may lose his job if the government doesn't increase its support of the industry. Next year, the Maldives will lose its preferential tax status in Europe, a major export market. So 24% and things goes up. Of course, that would mean as, as a processor, he will have to cut down their cost on somewhere. And who knows, it could be my salary. From job security to personal security, Maldivians like Fatma Zada say political instability has allowed crime to increase in the capital Male. Last year, Fatma says her husband was mugged. She says he was fatally stabbed on a city street in the middle of the day. Yeah, a lot is going on in here that people never know. So it's like, I mean, everything is shut shut off from the outside world so we want to give the message to the outsiders like this place is not safe anymore we can't walk like freely like we are walking before like 10 years back beyond these shores lie some big economic and social challenges that the next president will need to address that will not only help keep resorts fully booked but it will also help Maldivians prosper in their own patch of paradise Nididat Al Jazeera Malek.